This is just looking at the radiation patterns in three dimensions of the 291 marine antenna. Um, the antenna goes from 450 MHz to 2.7 MHz. Um, if you look at the screen pattern, um, the antenna would be in that orientation, the null, in other words, pull, uh, towards the top, and that beautiful omnidirectional characteristic all around the boat. And that's at 450 MHz, one of the new bands. You can see the gain not very high there, the gain is much higher at the other frequencies, but beautifully omnidirectional and uh, very much adequate performance for this size antenna at those frequencies. Um, that's already over that band, and I'll just skip to the um, 800 band, sort of midpoint 900 megahertz. Once again, just note, perfectly omnidirectional gain has moved up to about 4 dBi, um, but it's really that omnidirectionality uh, associated with still a nice elevation beam pattern that's its characteristic. Top end of the GSM band 960 at 4.5 dBi gain, still perfectly omni. Just going to skip through some of the frequencies we don't use in GSM. Um, the 1700 gain has moved up to about 6 dBi gain, but note again how the um, omnidirectional nature is maintained, no nulls um, creeping in there going towards the side while keeping that um, broad uh, elevation beam. Um, if you go to 1900, that's in other words the top of the 1800 band, gain has moved to about 6.5 dB, omnidirectionality maintained. We then go to UMTS, that's 2.1 gigahertz, um, gain close to 7 dBi, but again quite nice and broad in elevation where tilting off the boat would affect the beam if it was too narrow or too squashed. 2.2, um, same characteristic at about 7 dBi. And then you can go all the way up 2.3, the Wi-Fi bands just for interest, 7.5 dBi gain, still very omnidirectional, little ripples, but um, nothing that will affect you much. And then 2.5 to 2.7, there we said the top of 2.7, you've gain have gone up to ADVI, um, but omnidirectionality is still very much maintained in all cases. Omnidirectionality, clearly the most important thing, very difficult to maintain in a single antenna over such a wide frequency band. If you want MIMO, if it's LTE, in other words, should use two of these, mount it at least one meter apart, but if it's three, four meters, even better. So mount them on either side of the boat or as far as you can get them apart to get the ultimate um, increase in speed due to the MIMA performance.